Hi everyone, in this short tutorial I want to show you how you can deal with rendering the elements in high quality when using large terrains. Uh, for instance, in my case I have a 4 km by 4 km terrain and uh, I'm coloring this entire forest using a color element to display this pirate icon, but in the same time I have some buildings which are uh, cutting the grass underneath them. So what I want to show you, how to set up everything uh, to be able to, to render these elements properly, uh, to render them in high quality, so let's get started. Alright, so first a bit of introduction. Uh, the elements are just simple game objects uh, placed in the scene. Uh, they are acting like uh, decal objects and they are rendered by the global volume uh, two four render textures which are, which are then sent to the uh, shaders and using these elements we can for instance interact with the grass uh, if I move this enemy around as you can see the grass is uh, pushed by this uh, this enemy and if we go uh, to the child uh, game objects you can see the uh, element interaction which is using the motion interaction element, which means it is rendered by the global volume uh, to the render motion uh, render texture. All right, uh, let me show you my uh, my little setup over here. Uh, so we have the the enemies, uh, we have these buildings and uh, this building and this spike. And uh, they are using a size fade element to uh, fade out the grass under these objects. If we go to the game object, it is using the size fade element. Uh, nothing special here. I just use this uh, square uh, texture and I change the alpha a bit uh, to have a nicer transition because if I cut it, it will just uh, snap randomly. So I just add a bit of alpha to have a smoother transition. Okay. But what I want to do, because I have uh, this big uh, forest over here, so I want to display uh, this pirate element which is a color element i want to display it over the the forest uh, this is now enabled but as you can see uh, nothing is really happening only a small portion of the forest is uh, actually colored that's because if i enable the gizmos and go to the global volume the global volume is quite small and uh, the entire rendering is only happening inside the global volume. If I uh, move this uh, pirate ele element on the top, as you can see, only this uh, small portion over here is rendered. And in the outside, it is a bit hard to see. Uh, we have this uh, cross hatch uh, showing you that this part is outside the global volume. All right, so what I need to do is to simply go to the global volume and scale it up. Uh, my terrain is four kilometers by four, four kilometer, kilometers. So I will uh, scale it up to uh, 4,000 and 4,000 and maybe 4,000 on the Y axis as well. Uh, the Y axis, it doesn't really matter because Everything is rendered in top down. Just to be sure, uh, we can move uh, these elements up or down uh, without uh, going outside the uh, global volume. All right. And what else I have here is a noise element, which is adding this uh, blue coloring. Okay. Let me move it below the, the pirate. And now we have uh, the pirate displayed here but if I go back to the spikes for instance because the global volume is now super big we don't have enough resolution to render the 
uh, other elements. Uh, if I move these spikes over here, as you can see, the grass is the the grass size is faded out, but it is blocky. That's because we don't have enough resolution to render the texture. Um, you can always debug the elements by going to Window Boxophobic TV and open the scene debugger. Uh, with the scene debugger, I will go to uh, Global Textures and Vertex uh, Size Element. And as you can see, for instance, for this one, it almost looks like uh, it is rendered properly. But when I move around, as you can see, we only have a few pixels rendered for uh, this size element. Uh, if I scale it back to 400, as it was before, uh, and enable the debugger again, as you can see, we actually uh, don't have a super high resolution, but it is enough uh, to render these elements uh, properly. All right. Uh, so I will set it back to... 4K. All right, and uh, since these are uh, vertex uh, size elements, uh, they are rendered by the vertex uh, render texture. And uh, if you uh, check this uh, little debug over here, it is rendering. Uh, 0 0.26 uh, pixels per unit. So we have uh, too little resolution to render these elements. Uh, what we can do in this case? Uh, well, it is super simple. In TV10, there is a new uh, volume you can create in the scene uh, by going to Boxophobic, the vegetation engine and volume. And this volume, you can place it in the scene where you want. Uh, let's scale it to encapsulate this playable area because we are only interested in, in this playable area. Something like this. And this volume, I will just simply go to the global volume again go to the render vertex uh, field and for the render mode in, instead of uh, rendering the elements inside the global volume I want to render them inside a render volume and if I change it to render volume nothing happens because nothing is assigned so TV is just using the global volume if nothing is assigned and I will assign this global uh, this uh, smaller volume and now our resolution is back. Uh, what I forgot to mention is that you can still render everything inside the global volume, but you will need to increase the resolution. For instance, let's uh, increase it to uh, 4000. Now we have better resolution again, but uh, it is using 122 megabytes in size. It might not be that much, but uh, with uh, elements you can also use layers. So each layer you add will increase uh, the size by 100 megabytes, which is quite a lot. Okay, and now we are rendering one pixel per uh, unit in the environment. Okay, so I will set it back to inside render volume and everything is now rendered properly. Now, if I move the, the enemies around, uh, you will see that only some small portions are interacting. That's because if I open the scene debugger again, maybe I should put it here. 
uh, and go, go to the motion interaction. Again, we don't have enough resolution to, to render this one. Okay, that's easy to fix again. I will create a new volume or just duplicate this one. But instead of, uh, instead of uh, just leaving it in the, the environment, what you can also do is to simply attach this volume uh, to your camera, for instance. Uh, this is a, a small playable area, but uh, maybe you have a bigger, bigger playable area. So for the interaction elements, uh, you could simply uh, go to your FPS controller, uh, parent it to the, to the FPS controller or the camera. Let's set the position to zero. Okay. And if I go back to the global volume under the render motion uh, parameters, I will render it inside the render volume and assign this volume over here. Okay. So you can see that some things are now broken over here. Why is that? This volume is super small and for this uh, NPC over here, for this enemy over here, it is right at the edge of the volume. So the pixels which are rendered at the edge of the volume are just stretched uh, the site. So in this case, uh, what you need to do is to select the, the interaction element and enable the uh, volume edge fading. And once this is enabled, if I debug again, as you can see at the edge of the volume, uh, this element is faded out. You can control uh, the amount of the fading on the global volume uh, elements edge fade. Okay. And uh, since this is just a super small volume, we don't really need uh, too much resolution, so we can decrease the render texture resolution. Let's try 128 and if I move the enemy around everything is uh, working nicely let's check the resolution it's still uh, pretty high so we can go even low if you if you want something like this okay uh, and we went from 8 megabytes to 0 0.03 uh, megabytes, but I will increase it just a bit to be sure. And uh, for the render vertex, uh, uh, render texture, I will set it back to maybe uh, 1K. Okay. And now if I hit play, I can move around. Everything is uh, interacting. Actually, my character is interacting with the grass. The enemies are interacting with the grass. But if I go uh, to a greater distance, uh, the enemies are not interacting anymore. If I get closer, they are interacting again because the, the elements are fading out at the edge of the volume. If you are not sure uh, if your volume is covering uh, the playable area, you can debug that as well with the scene debugger. Go to global volumes. 
and you can see the colors volume is covering the entire world the extras volume as well because we are not using it so it is rendered inside the global volume the motion volume it is just this uh, small portion over here and the vertex volume is covering our playable area i can adjust it a bit because it is going outside the volume and it is not actually needed all right that's all for today thanks again for watching and see you in the next one